he was very good. I, I still think he's probably past his best, but he still had enough of his tank tonight. He couldn't get me out of there. His plan was to stop me. He didn't. Um, I know I took a, a great shot in the fifth round, but um, come back swinging and uh, probably had some good runs after that. Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Canelo Alvarez versus John Ryder. Of course, Canelo Alvarez gets the win. 120-107 and then 118-109 on the other two judges' scorecards. What did you think about this fight? I think that and the new face of boxing, Gervonta Tank Davis. Canelo Alvarez was supposed to win this fight. He won the fight, but it was a lackluster performance. He did get the fifth round knockdown. And after that, he kind of gave up. All he did was telegraph rights, telegraph rights. He did not use his left hand. He did not set traps. He did not have a body attack. Canelo Alvarez talked about getting the knockout, but he did not do the things to get the knockout. So therefore, Canelo Alvarez had a subpar performance. Uh, could it be a B? Maybe a B minus. It was not Canelo's best. Coming after the Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia, spectacular performance. This was lackluster. The whole week was lackluster. No one cared about this fight. So the only way to put an exclamation point on this fight was to get the knockout. But guess what? Canelo could not do that. Has Canelo lost a step or did he get bored or did John Ryder say, you know what? I got knocked down, but I'm not going to give up. And he started getting these sneaky uppercuts. He started to find the jab and sure, he lost the fight. Could you give, give him three rounds? Maybe three rounds. Definitely two rounds for sure. Three rounds, he could have got that 9-3. But at the end of the day, Canelo did not do what he needed to do. And now he's left the door open for people to say, and the new face of boxing, Gervonta Tank Davis. Do you agree with that? Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.